Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create specialty parts uh, in Fusion 360. And what I mean by specialty parts is maybe there are things that we want to bring in like logos, maybe we want to trace those, uh, maybe we want to possibly bring in an image so we could trace it and then just basically take that image and slap it on top of it just like a decal. So we're going to be investigating that and taking a look at it. All right, so in my case, I want to be creating like a... Um, I don't know, some sort of a, a topper for my automata. So that requires you to go out and grab an, <clears throat> an image that you can save. All right, so when I come out here and grab this, I go to save image. All right, I can see this is a PNG file. So I think your PNGs, your bitmaps, your JPEGs, your TIFFs, I think those are all going to work. Uh, but you're going to be finding some other different types of files out there. Um, so just be aware of that. All right, so just go with the, uh, the main sort of images that you find um every day all right try to avoid any sort of uh, different ones all right so with that being said um i'm gonna go ahead save that image put it someplace where i can find it all right and now we can go ahead and get started with fusion so i'm going to come out and create a new sketch um and once i get out of here what i'm going to do is is i'm going to go ahead and just drop in a canvas so it's this image up here this little icon now i can come out insert from my computer and I'm going to find my image. Okay, so I can simply just come in here and pick on this work plane. We can see that Homer comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and just say, okay. All right, so what I always tell my students to do is whenever you're going to trace this, um, I'm gonna start here at the bottom. I'm just going to use just a, a horizontal line and I wanna make sure to get all that image in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the horizontal line. Just give us a nice flat reference here at the bottom. And now I can use spline and kids want to get into like every nook and cranny. You don't have to do that, all right? So we can just kind of give the overall silhouette, I guess, or profile of Homer here. Just do our best job. I'm kind of being quick with this. All right, so I'm gonna come around, get the profile. Okay, come all the way down here to finish this up. So I'm gonna pick the endpoint. All right, it's gonna see it wants to continue so all you have to do when you're at this point is just right click and say OK. All right, so we have our Homer Simpson. The problem that we have is we have no idea what the scale is. All right, so there's a couple things you're going to be looking at. Either you want to know uh, or you want to have a particular type of height or you want to have a particular type of width. All right, so I'm going to take a look at this. I can see that my width is 0.416. All right, I'm just writing that down. All right, so you have to kind of look to see how much room you have on top of that thing. All right, maybe I want this to have, you know, uh, maybe I want this little topper to have a width of like maybe an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half. All right, so I want to just say that I want this to be an inch and a half wide. All right, so I'm writing that down. So what I'm going to do is, is grab the entire sketch. All right, up here under modify, you can see we have something called sketch scale. The problem is, is that we need to do a little calculation before we go into sketch scale. All right, so I'm going to go into calculator and I'm going to say what I want it to be, which is going to be 1.5, and I'm going to divide that by what it currently is, which is 0.416. Okay, and I can see that my scale factor that I'm going to use for this is going to be like 3.6. Okay, so that's going to work for me. So I'm writing that 3.6 scale factor down. All right, so now is when I can grab the entire sketch. I can come up to modify. I can go to sketch scale. All right, now it's asking me to uh, select a point. So right now, all these 26 entities you can see, all right, it's all been selected. Now I'm going to come here to select my point. I'm just going to come here to my origin. And now with my scale factor, I'm going to say I want that to be 3.6. Okay, and when I do that, we can see, all right, this has now been scaled up. All right, so just kind of curious, I'm just going to come out here and do a little quick inspect. What is the distance from here to here? And we can see the distance is 1.497, pretty darn close to that 1.5 that we were looking for, so we're good to go. I'm going to finish the sketch, look at this in an isometric view. I'm going to come out here now, do a little extrusion here, and I'm going to say the thickness. I know my plywood I'm going to be cutting at school is going to be about 3 16 so I'm going to pop that in, and I'm going to say OK. All right, so we can still see Homer just kind of hanging out back here. All right, so he's still on that canvas. So I'm just gonna come down here to the canvas in my timeline. I'm gonna right click and pick on suppress feature. All right, so <clears throat> now I have something to work with here. So I have the silhouette, but I actually want that decal right there on top of Homer. So I'm gonna come out here. Underneath insert, you're going to see decal. 
and it's going to be asking you, hey, what image do you want to use? I want to say, I want to insert from my computer. I'm going to go out there and find my Homer Simpson image. I'm going to go ahead and open that. It's now asking me to pick a face to place it, so I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to look at this from the front view. All right, so there's something kind of hidden here. All right, and it's this guy right here. So this is what we can do in order to size up our image. All right, in order to actually place the image, we can come to this grip in the center. All right, move it where we want. Okay, and once again, we can kind of go out there and get this to where we want. Okay, so looks like Homer's doing a pretty good job of fitting okay, right here. The one thing I want to tell you to do is, is um, if we leave this like so, there's this little checkbox down here called chain faces. If any of the image all right, is hanging over the actual outside of the part, that means it's going to wrap it to the, the next face. It's called chain faces. So I'm just going to go ahead and unclick that or uncheck that. And now I'm going to go ahead and say, okay. All right. So if we take a look here, we have a part with an image on top of it. All right. And we have our specialty part to use okay, for our topper. Now, a lot of, what a lot of people ask me next is, well, like, how do we attach this thing? Well, if I were you, okay, I could easily just come out here. <clears throat> I could create a sketch on the back. And now I could go ahead and just, like, create a simple box here on the back portion of it. So I'm going to say that this is like, um, I don't know, we'll just call this point three tab point three. We'll just make a point three by point three box. I can finish that sketch. I can do an extrude of this profile, and I'm just gonna bring that back like 0.3, okay, like so. And then how easy is it just to come in here, create a sketch, and uh, I'm gonna create a rectangle. It's gonna be a center point rectangle. <clears throat> I'm gonna track, <clears throat> excuse me, off of this point, track off of this point. I'm gonna find that dead center. And then now I can go ahead and set this up for my quarter inch square dowel. Okay, just like so. All right, I could finish the sketch. I can do a quick extrude, cut this in my distance, which in, our, in my case would be negative 0.25. It's going to go in a quarter of an inch. Okay, so there's my square hole. So I could put my follower rod right into it, okay, using joints. All right, and there you go. Okay, that's specialty parts using Fusion 360.